The eruption of Mauna Loa on the northeast rift zone continued Tuesday morning. Lava crossed the Mauna Loa Weather Observatory Road overnight, and a new fissure has also opened on the Hawaii Island volcano. This area of the island is not populated, and officials say the eruption does not pose a threat to any communities or infrastructure at this time. Ken Han, the scientist in charge of the U.S. Geological Survey Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, provided the latest details during a morning media briefing. As we know that, uh, you know, on Sunday night, uh, the eruption started late Sunday night. It progressed to a northeast rift zone early Monday morning. Three fissures opened up yesterday uh, down from the summit down to about the 10,500 foot level. Uh, today, only the third fissure is active. The upper two fissures became inactive around midday yesterday. And then uh, last night, a smaller fissure uh, opened up slightly down rift of the third fissure. So we have a fissure number four. Overnight, the main flow from the eruption is coming from fissure three, and that stays this way this morning. Fissure four has only got minor flows from it that have traveled a little bit down the rift zone and have kind of hooked over just over peaking over the top of the northeast rift zone. Last night, the lava flow from the fissure number three vent has traveled down the slopes um, of Mauna Loa and crossed the Mauna Loa Observatory access road. So it cut both power and access to the NOAA Mauna Loa Observatory uh, facility on uh, Mauna Loa. So it is now uh, around six miles from the, the saddle road and is continuing to move downhill with the bulk of the eruptive material. So at about four miles from the saddle road, it's going to hit some flatter ground and presumably slow down considerably and the mode of uh, movement may change as well. Right now it's a channelized uh -uh flow and traveling at a, at a fairly good speed, not super fast, but you know, we're looking at, uh, at less than a mile per hour, mainly for the advance rates right now. Um, there continues to be a lot of gas emitted from uh, this eruption. Uh, we are trying to quantify the numbers. Yesterday, it's difficult to measure the gas. We can't get right up under the plume near the source. And uh, by the time you get down on the saddle road, it's difficult because it's so diffuse. So we're trying some new techniques to see if we can reduce those and get volumes of gas. But it's a lot more than Kilauea puts out typically. And today, just as uh, yesterday, the winds are out of the south, so the plume is blowing to the north. So luckily, most of the island has remained pretty bog free. Um, but this bog plume we can see on maps is, is, is being transported to the north along the island chain. Big Island Video News will be following the eruption as it develops, and we will be updating our media channels throughout the day.